So we finally have gotten a little bit lucky, and this is the highest Pteranodon I've seen at 125. Now, I, I don't know how lucky this actually is. I mean, I've been here for a minute, so. <laughs> but, I mean, I was about to take the Pelagornis out so we could go exploring and try to search for some base locations. But, uh, you know, Pteranodon. So is it you? Is it you? Is it this one? Uh, no! What? No! Oh, that's stupid. But if you couldn't tell, we are back with some more Ark Survival Ascended, part of our Maximum Survivor series, uh, and I uh, just fell off a cliff. Maximum Survivor tip, don't do that. It's stupid. Okay, we're back up here. Yeah, there's a 125 right there. Okay, what, what level are you? Seven. All right, so I think we're going to go get this 125, and then what is 45? All right, so we just got to wait for it to land. Which one are you? There's so many Pteranodons now. They all weren't here before. What, what level are you? What? 145? 145! Oh, that's so lucky. Okay, so we got to get this one. All right, so we're going to bowl it. And then we should only need two shots. Anything under 150, you can hit it twice. And it'll go out. And that's it. Done. Nice. Uh, I think we're also going to get this 125, though. Look at the 125, yeah. But that, oh my gosh, the 145 is so lucky. I mean, it's kind of stuck in the rock here. Can we access it? Yeah. Okay. Mm, that weight's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not It's not great, but round on weight isn't really that great. Okay, so where's the 125 at? You need a 125? Ooh, you're cool looking. All right, so let's do the same thing here. Make sure we're not hitting anything else. Well, will you... And then that should take one shot, maybe another shot, and that should be it. Down, yes. Nice. Well, that was a good way to start off the episode. We uh, got two Pteranodons right off the bat after looking and searching for such a long time. The 145 was super lucky. The 125, uh, you know, that's just bonus. I mean, the colors of the 125 is way better. I got to find some babies to get, and I'm going to get some prime. All right, I had to battle two trucks, two trucks with Baby Burella, but I'm not going to leave this baby an orphan like me. You come here. There we go. We've got our prime meat. This should be enough for the Ronadons. They don't need that much. Now it's just a matter of finding them. They're a little tough though. Okay, a little snoring right here. Snoring action. So we'll get, mm, we'll get some prime here. Maybe, maybe we'll drop in stack of meat as well okay so we got can I access you there we go we're gonna plop all that in there I'm gonna eat that up right away now where are we at okay more than halfway there yeah I don't know why it's not working in terms of the tracking before it did it automatically but I don't know I think you just got to click the other little thingies at the bottom but all right, now we gotta go find the other one, which was harder to find. Maybe around here. They were kind of stuck under a rock. It was, it was weird. Can't really see when I'm down in the, in the grass. So we're gonna stay up on Blue Rella here. Look at all these Ankies now. There's so many Ankies around the island too. Here, I think it was over here. Yeah, I feel like sometimes it's a little bit easier to find stuff when you're up on a mount, but uh, I don't think it was here. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Where's it at? It's snoring. Oh, there it is. See the indicator. <laughs> okay, can we access it? Yes. All right. Well, let's put some meat on you, too. And we're just do... We can probably put all this prime on here. Almost all this prime. We'll just split between the two. All right. Could eat that up right away. Now, we shouldn't need any narcotics. They, they should be okay. Yeah, that's more than half right now. Nice. Okay, so we just got to wait for these guys to tame up, and then we are G2G. And like I was saying earlier, I was planning on searching for a new base location because I would like some place big to build up. Now, Herbivore Island's great and all. Herbivore Island's great for building up. But I've done that before, so <laughs> I would like to try... And maybe go to a more central location or someplace that I haven't built before. Hey, there we go. And the 125 is up. 
What'd you tame out at? Okay, that weight is, uh, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, it at least lift me. We need Pteranodons that can at least lift me up. So, this colors, though, you're cool looking. Like, I, I really like this a, a lot. Now we just gotta wait for your girlfriend to get up. Hey, and she's up. Well, she's kind of a cool color. She's got green with the with the whitish. Okay, what do you got in terms of stats here? Can I access you? Eh, her weight's not that great. Mm, I mean, they're, they're like normal Pteranodon stats at this level, I feel like. Yeah. What's his health at again? Yeah, so she's a little bit more. Actually, she's got a lot more health than he does. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be riding her. All right, I just had these two give me an egg just in case anything bad happens, but... <laughs> so we'll store this for now. But yeah, I think this may be a bad choice, but I think I might take both of them. Because if I find things that I want, I'm definitely not going to be able to carry it all on one Pteranodon. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Hey guys, let's get ready for an adventure. First things first, we got to be able to cross this ocean. <laughs> But I figure if we have both of them, we'll be able to get a good amount of stuff. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Now, I haven't had a chance to check everything out, but this spot is actually... Uh, it's not that far off from Herbivore Island. It's actually a pretty good spot to be in. But I think I want to be in a place where there's a lot of resources and stuff. Like, now, I know I just made a video about <laughs> the best space locations. I think, honestly, it's... It's subjective. It really is just because it just depends on what you want. If you want like a cool spot to like build a lot of stuff in, then it's one thing. Then if you want to be close to resources, it's another thing. I feel like I should be facing you guys this way. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> so I think I'm going to need some help picking out a base spot because there, there are so many good locations on this map. There, there's a ton. And I feel like I want to kind of try and build in a place that I've never built in before. Which would be the snow, but there's not too many great spots in the snow right now. I wouldn't be able to do it right now this second. I'm also thinking ahead and I'm thinking of the next few tames that I want to get. And I think that if I'm going to do some serious building, I'm going to want a mammoth. Now, I could do a beaver, but the thing is, like, I'm not a high enough level to get the beaver saddle. I could grind for it. I mean, like I said, there's so many different ways to do it. It's just like, there's no right or wrong way, really. It just depends on how you want to play. And for the most part, I never really get mammoths, so we would have to go to the north for them. So maybe the easiest bet is to build somewhere on the east coast, maybe central east. But for now, we're just going to check some stuff out. We're going to check a few locations out. I have also never lived in the swamp before. And this swamp looks way different. It actually looks nice here. It makes me want to live here, maybe. But maybe no. <laughs> maybe no. Right now we're on the east side here. Not not too far off from where we were before. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to live in the swamp. Like, there's certain things that are really nice about it, but like all the creatures here suck. These areas right here are pretty flat. Could build a whole thing up on that ledge and then maybe build something down at the bottom here because it's just like i want the works i want to get a whole base situation and because we don't have cryopods we don't have things like that we are going to have to store our dinos somehow and uh can't just have them strewn about we gotta be kind of organized in some kind of pen or something but that would be uh that would be a pretty good space to do that in it's not really that close to anything though except the nasty swamp I've also never lived on the east side of the map, so that that could be something new for me. Like, I've built outposts, like, pretty much all over the map, but I've never had, like, a base where it's like, that's that's the home, you know? Wait a minute, I'm actually lying. I actually did build on the east side at one point, but I don't remember. I didn't have a very big base here. Like, that's what it was. I was playing the PvP. I was stationed over here. There's a lot of good trees and stuff to hide out in, little holes and stuff. I also want to get building sooner rather than later because the thing is, it's like, if I get too many tames, then I'm going to have to ship them to wherever I'm going. And it's a lot harder to, to move dinos now without cryopods. This place is actually kind of cool. 
could build something up on that platform there. I mean, maybe something on this platform as well. I would need an elevator or something. Ooh, Quetzal! Quetzal! Probably gonna need a Quetzal if we get too many tames and stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to see. This is still, still buggy and weird. Let's uh, come over here. Let's take a look at this Quetzal. 40. I mean, you know, a Quetzal's a Quetzal. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't really matter what level it is unless you're trying to do some PvP stuff. But yeah, this could be a cool area right here. I mean, there's some Rexes and stuff. We kind of have natural protection by just being up high. I don't see anything on here. Hmm. Hmm. This is a maybe. We're right here on the map. We're kind of, kind of in the middle. I'm trying to move towards the middle a little bit. As far as resources go, there's two uh, mountains that we're kind of in between, and uh, they have a lot of resources on them. And we're not too far off from the volcano. Like, the volcano's in the center here. Eh. It's kind of a ways. I got a better saddle for old Poopy. I'm like checking it out here. What's this thing gonna give me? Tech? Uh, try and get this drop here. Some RG's around. Let's see if we can get in real quick. Ooh! What? What is that? What? What was screaming like that? It's a scorpion. There's two scorpions. It was screaming at me though. I don't know what that was. <laughs> All right, they're all busy. Get, get, get out of the way! Get out of the way so I can get it. Woo! Get that! Get on! Get up! Get out! Oh, it's too heavy. Uh, drop that! Drop that! Drop that! Drop that! Drop that! Oh, we got a lot of crystal. Okay, let's get out. Ooh, are you okay? Okay, you're good. All right, so we got some crystal out of that one. Drops give veggies now. That's crazy. This area looks a lot different than before. This is super cool, too. I uh, could probably build up on those cliffs there. Really hot here, though. Build over there in that little little nook there. Plus, there's beavers here. So you can constantly get some ending things. Hmm. It's a maybe, too. This is still close to the beach, but I kind of always like this area too. Like this is a, that's a good ledge. That's a good ledge. And then you got a little pool of water behind you. I mean, you got the ocean there, but you got a pool of water behind you. You could probably put some like water teams. Not, not big ones, like the ones who can get out the water, like, you know, basic frogs. <laughs> that, that's it. It's kind of what you could do. Uh, yeah, that's a cool little place too. Build something along the ledge here. Hmm. I took a break to move my stuff over and I could <laughs> and that Tyrannodon's almost look at it, it's almost full. It's almost full, just from the stuff I had. Uh it's like I, I don't want to rush too much and stuff, but I'm like, I should get an RG. I'm kinda like, should get an RG. We'll see what this drop gives us. I don't know if I can access this one. Uh this this wouldn't be a bad spot either, just because we're so close to the snow biome. If I plan on getting a mammoth, it wouldn't be too hard to march it back here, no? We got plenty of trees. The only bad thing is that we're kinda a distance away from some metal. But should be okay. Yellow drops are usually pretty great, so let's see what we got. What do we get? Do digger a saddle, send it to digger a saddle. During the metal sickle and two stone <laughs> foundations. Yes, we will need a dodicarus soon. Very soon. I haven't seen any yet. But they're a little tougher to find, I feel like, on this map. Or they're they're not tougher to find, they're just tougher to get to. Like, you're gonna have to go in the redwoods. Or you maybe get lucky and you can kind of find them either in this area along the map, or you can find them on the left side, kind of where the snow biome meets. The area there, you can see it, but yeah, we're almost in the snow. Pretty much, we're pretty much in the snow. 
It's nighttime now. Hmm. I didn't bring any taming stuff with me because I wasn't. This wasn't a taming expedition. This was a. Let's look for a base expedition. This area itself is cool. I mean, it would be a pain to build on. Super pain to build on, but still a cool little iceberg. There we go. We got some mammoth here. Oh, 135. Come on. 135. Stop. What's this one over here? 25. Man, this is 135 here. And a 90. Oh, it's going to mess that RG up. Oh, we can get some UDs here, too? I didn't know they were this close. I mean, it is a snow, so I mean, I guess anywhere in the snow, make it happen. It'll happen. I mean, this spot right over here might not be too bad. This little area here has all the pearls and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. This area is kind of cool, too. I mean, there's a bunch of archies around, but it's got this little archway over here. You can kind of rebuild this. That'd be kind of cool. And there's all these, like, flat platforms here. Pretty close to the snow biome. Oh, and we got mammoths. I mean, I don't I don't think my whole... My whole... Uh, <laughs> choosing of the base location should be reliant on whether I'm getting a mammoth or not. But it makes it easier because uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but they are slow. They're slow. So I kind of don't want to have to march one all the way back <laughs> to wherever I plan on having a base. You know? And we got some aloes down below. Because that's what you got to think about. It's like you got to think about how far you want to march stuff and... They're not Rexes, you know? They take a take a long time to get places. Or a Spino. Spino moves pretty fast, but everything else is kind of slow unless you get a Quetzal. Which is also a possibility. We could uh, also do that as well. This area is kind of cool with this little ledge here and stuff. And it's got a little pool and a pond. And we got a mountain right here, so we'd be able to get metal pretty easy. Hmm. Pretty close to the snow biome. It's more in, more in the central location. So a lot of bad stuff around here, though. Lots of bad things. The cool thing about the island is, even though we're flying, you can reach every single area by walking. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. I feel like that's the only arc map that can do that. Where it's like, they made it like that on purpose. Whereas, like, if you're in places like the center, it's like, ugh. All <laughs> you have to fly everywhere, I feel like, to be able to get anywhere. It's a cool, it's a cool uh, piece of land here, too. The obelisks look really cool at night. I feel like we're the closest to blue and we can't even see it. I actually really like this area in between the volcano and the redwoods, but I don't want to live here. <laughs> <laughs> I like it for getting stuff. There's always stuff here. Like, there's Rexes. There, you can get Thylas in there. You can get uh, Aloes from the this mountain here. Like, it's just so much stuff over here. There's also Micro Raptors, so we're not going to fly down too low here. Nope. Oh, that's such a cool shot. What? Why'd you have to ruin it, guy? See, like, look how cool this area is. I mean, the sun's rising, but... Kind of cool. I wanted to see what was up in the volcano, and I wanted to see how different it looked. We're going to head on up here. Make sure I got enough stamina. Pretty sure I do. Big creatures. Now, a lot of times, it's like... I've never built directly into the volcano, but i built on the side of the volcano. And I kind of... Kind of like that. I kind of liked... Being very close to Obsidian and stuff. But it was more like an outpost area. It wasn't an actual, like, base base. But I feel like even with the outposts, like, all the outposts kind of end up like bases anyway. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This looks way different. Cool down immediately. Oh, it's so smoky in here. I ain't supposed to see anything. Yeah, this looks really cool. Like, some of the resources, like... Like, this metal looks kind of like metal. Like, I feel like the other places 
The metal didn't really look uh, like metal, but I guess that's the point. Yeah, this looks a lot cooler. Ooh, spooky. You can have a spooky villain base here. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of times I'll just build right here because there's this walkway that you can... I mean, not that I use it, but I just build right here and then I can uh, get my obsidian and stuff pretty easy if I have just like a little outpost base here. This area is kind of the snow, but I don't know. Not really a good place to build. Maybe, maybe in that direction over there. I mean, the cave is right there. There's a cave right here, so hmm. I mean, it's a cool looking area. Maybe we would knock all these trees down or something. I don't know. I kind of like this waterfall over here, though. And down into this area. Like, this is pretty cool right here. But it'd be kind of tough to build into this right now. There's a lot of fighting, too. These guys are <laughs> wrecking up the whole forest. Look at this. Yeah, we'll keep on looking. I kind of like this area for building too. It's just, it's kind of close to the redwoods and like this area right here, there's always you Tyrannus here. At some point we're gonna need one and it's kind of useful if you're a little close. I mean, we can get a trap and we can bring it over and stuff, but like, I don't know. I think we're gonna have to build pretty close to the snow. I think that's probably the move here because without cryopods, it, it's just such a trick to bring everything back. And I mean, this area is pretty... It's pretty open. It's pretty open, but it's, it's kind of slanted and stuff, so... I don't know. I don't know if I'm crazy about this area. I mean, it could do, like, a little outpost here. But Oh, wait. There's a whole bunch of ruins here. Check this out. Pretty sure this wasn't here before. This is, like... This is, like, a bigot. It's like a big ruin here. Oh, that might change it. That might change a little bit. You could rebuild this. I mean, it, it's only one wall. <laughs> well, oh no, wait. It's kind of a wall and then... Oh. Oh, guys. What if we rebuild this? What if we do that? Hmm. Look, this is a whole thing. This is a whole whole castle. Hmm. That is an idea. That's an idea. We're right here on the map. Hmm. It's, it's very close to the area I was just in. It's like, pretty much, uh, right in its backyard. I mean, that could, that could be a cool place. What's down here? Oh. Ooh, this is tempting. This is very tempting. This could be a little area where you have all the dinos and stuff. You just put Behemoth Gate here. You have all the dinos. Build up your little castle. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? It's a maybe. That's a that's a big maybe. We got plenty of Megatherium around here if we wanted to do boss battles and stuff. We got our Mammoth, we got our Uteranus, we got our Ankies. I mean, we already have Ankies, but if we wanted more Ankies, because Ankies are the best, we got. Also, I don't think I've rebuilt any ruins on this series. Uh, I used to do it all the time with my friends. I'm not, I'm not the greatest at it, but like, I don't know, that, that could be fun. That could be fun, or we could just explore the actual like building system too, because it's just like, I want to do that as well. Like, there's just so much stuff to do. And no one's saying that this has to be our permanent permanent base location. It's just that we're going to have a big base. You know, you got to have a central base location. In my one series, I lived in the Redwoods before, and I built the one base, and then I built another thing, and then I built another thing. And you just kind of keep adding on to it, you know? Wow, level 10 Quetzal. I was also considering building here since really close to the snow biome and this area is actually pretty flat or at least it used to be it's it's hard to tell with all these trees here it used to be really really flat and there's a lot of things that actually spawn here as well 
terms of teams, like Rexes and Aloes sometimes. And there's a lot of resources here. You got the pearls up here, oil, polymer, things like that. So this is also good space. Uh, a lot of times I use this space as like an outpost area. Like I I build a lot of outposts. Outposts are good to have, you know, it's a it's good to have a bunch of little bases all over the place. But you definitely want a place where you have all your dinos and stuff, you know? But there is another place up here, which is kind of cool, too. Right here at this waterfall. This is a pretty cool waterfall. This looks nice. And this is kind of a fun area to build in, too. There's just so many places. There's just so many places. I need some help. I need some help deciding. There is also another place that I like. And I really enjoy this spot. This spot just has a lot of <laughs> funny memories for me. Uh, I did have a base up in that area before. Not not anywhere on the channel. It was with a friend. But this this spot's pretty nice too. It's, it's got this one platform here. You can build a whole bunch of stuff. And this other platform you can build a whole bunch of stuff too. You got this pool down here. To bring all your water teams into. That's also what we gotta figure out. We gotta figure out like water tame situations, because you know, we're gonna wanna get some water tames. Unless we just have a separate base all together for just the water guys. And then there's like this cool little area here. I mean this isn't really I feel like <laughs> I feel like this isn't really a base location. Like I know somebody who had a base here before. And uh it was it was crazy looking. It was it was crazy. We broke into it. <laughs> And uh, it was just all over the place. And now we're back on Herbivore Island. Because I am done with my tour guiding. <laughs> yeah, I felt like a bit of a, a tour guide today for you guys. Oh, I'm not really sure what I want to build. There was a couple places where I'm just like, hmm, this one is a... These are hard maybes. Hard maybes. Uh, I don't know. I'm curious what you guys think. Oh, the Stego wants to get in the shot. We ended up getting these two Pteranodons, which is kind of lucky. I mean, it wasn't really that lucky. I mean, it's I've been here for a minute, so it was just a matter. It was a matter of time. And I'm going to hatch up that egg pretty soon. Actually, I'll probably, I'll probably hatch it up in between episodes just so we have another Pteranodon just in case. And it's also good to just have a Pteranodon just uh, for just resources and stuff. Because I did load these guys up. I mean, I have what I have on me, and this is what I kind of got from the drops here. So we got a good amount of stuff here. And I got some gates and everything, because gates are always good to have. And then I got some veggies as well. And then on the other Pteranodon, I have a bunch of crystal. I ended up getting a bunch of crystal. And then we have this Mashcraft Fionia saddle, which we can use for our little piggy over there. Or elephant. Pull elephant. You, you, you guys know what I mean. But I would say that wraps it up for this episode. So if you found yourself enjoying the video, give it a like and subscribe for more stuff like this. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me and take care.